Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to work on a half of a bucket. Uh, it's metal. I got it at Goodwill for a dollar. And I just thought it was really cute. So I spray painted it black, the flat black from Rust-Oleum. This is a scrap piece of canvas that I had kicking around. I have a little bucket that I have full of just scraps and I dug through there and found this and thought that I could use it in a couple of the projects today. So I'm basically just trimming off the edge and fraying it a little bit. And I have this brand new stamp I got from Amazon. That'll be down in the description, the link to it, if you are interested in it. Uh, it's very cute. It has a bird, butterflies, or the wreath with flowers. It's really, really pretty. I'll give you an up close in just a second. So uh, I cut down this piece of burlap. It's really tightly woven and I wanted to distress it a little bit. So I took a little bit of my antique wax that was watered down and I'm putting it on the edges and where the frays are and things like that. So it could just look aged and old. And then once I was done with that, uh, I wiped it with a rag and just kind of blended it in. And then I did a light brush across the front all the way across just to give it so that it didn't look so crisp and white uh, in the middle. So here's the cute little stamp. There's a little freeze frame for you. It's so pretty. I saw that online and it was only like $6.99. It was really inexpensive so for that size of a stamp so I left the backing right on it and I took some of my ink chalk paint because I don't have any ink uh, stamp pad or anything like that but I took my ink chalk paint and I because it's the first time using this I put it on I thought fairly thick and I tried it on a piece of paper I know it's not like cloth when you do it but it really um, looked like it needed a lot more ink on there or paint. So I am glad I tested it first because this time when I went in with the paint, I did an extra thick layer on it. And that way when it went on to the fabric, uh, it would be a little bit darker. I like it to look faded and worn so it doesn't have to have all the crispness of the stamp, but I, I did want it to you be to be able to see what it looked like for the most part. So that came out pretty good. There's a little corner down there in the on the left and I did ink that back up and fix that one little spot. I didn't have the camera on when I put on this material but I had some homespun black and tan uh, small checked material that I cut a little bit bigger and frayed it and then put that down and on top of that I put my little piece of burlap with the stamp on top and I think that looks so cute and primitive. So to add a little bit to the top I've been trying to decide what to do on this and decided that I would just keep it simple and wrap it with a little bit of jute twine. So I think I did four or five wraps around the top and um, just to just to add a little bit of something to it. I think it looks really cute. So I did a simple little bow with the jute twine as well and cut it off so that the tails were a little bit long and stuck it in the middle of my wrap around that I did on the top. So as I was looking at it, I said, you know, it really needs some on the bottom. So I did another bunch on the bottom. I didn't do as many down there. I think I only did three on the bottom, three wraps around. And when I do that, I like to crisscross and make them go over each other a little bit and look just kind of random. Uh, and so that came out pretty good, I think. So take a look and see the finished product.
right, so project number two, we're going to use this one uh, hoop that I bought from, I believe, Hobby Lobby. Another new stamp that I got for, I think it was the same, $6.99 at, on Amazon. And again, the link will be down in the description to that. Uh, another piece of the burlap and another piece of my homespun black and tan. And this really cute basket that I got at a flea market recently. So I'm trying to find the side that I want to use for the burlap, the better side. Here is the stamp, another one. It's got flowers and butterflies. It's so pretty. Uh, again, Amazon $6.99, I believe, or that was when I bought it. There'll be a link down in the description if you're interested in it. So I'm doing the same technique as I did the first time. I'm distressing it around the edges and then I'm going right down the top of it very lightly just to give it a worn, old, kind of a grungy look. As you can see the difference there, hopefully. The stamps are a little bit sticky when you first get them, so I just take a just took this towel and just kind of put it on it. It's not super sticky, but I was trying to keep the stickiness off it. Uh, again, with the black ink from Waverly, and I'm just going around again, and I'm giving it a pretty good coat of the black so that it will sit down in that fabric really well. As you can see, it's pretty thick, but it seems to sink in uh, the fabric when you're putting it on there, so it doesn't show up as well. And again, I don't want this bright, bright, I, and I do want it to look kind of faded and like it's just been around a while and washed a bunch of times and faded out. But um, I do also want it to, some of the pieces of it to show up. I moved a little bit doing this, so I noticed that some of the little uh, butterflies kind of got a little bit mushed but not too, too bad. I think you can still tell what they are a little bit. Um, but that looks so cute. I really love that stamp. So now I'm taking my embroidery hoop. I took it apart, and I'm taking the outside hoop, and I'm putting on some burlap-colored ribbon, and I'm going to put that all the way around the outside of the hoop. Now that that's done, I'm going to take my other piece of the homespun black and tan material. I'm going to put that down first on my little hoop, the inner hoop, and putting my burlap over the top of that. And then the outer hoop is going to go around it, and I kind of try and pull it taut as I put it on there, but I think it came out pretty good and then tighten the little screw on the top so that it doesn't pull out. And that looks so cute. So now I'm just going to trim all of the material around the outside because I will be gluing that down to my basket and I don't want that to get in the way. I want the wood to adhere to the wood when I glue it. So we're just going to clean that up make it look good. So this basket I went back and forth about. I really really like it. The color isn't that bad but it's just a little bit too blonde, too, I don't know, for me. Uh, but I love the shape of it so I'm just taking a little dry brush of black and just brushing it on. Just making it look a little bit aged so that it will go along with the stamp that I did in the hoop. So I'm just giving it a light brush all around so it kind of dulls down that shiny basket material. And I think I did a pretty good job on that. So this is how the little hoop is going to go in there. It's just going to sit right in the middle. Uh, I could get crazy and add all kinds of things to this. I could add pit berries. I could add Spanish moss around the outside. 
but I think I wanted to keep this one simple. A lot of people will just hang baskets up on the wall, and I think they're beautiful. I do the same thing. Um, but this one I thought was really pretty because it had the stamp in the middle, and it did, I don't think it needed anything else. I think this was enough. Uh, sometimes less is more, I'm always saying. And sometimes I go overboard, and sometimes I don't do enough. But uh, you have to know kind of when to say when. So I just like the simplicity of this basket. In sticking with the simplicity, I'm going to take that burlap a ribbon that I had, and I'm just going to make a simple little bow and stick that on the top to kind of cover up that screw on there. And there we go. I took a little jute twine and added a hanger on the top and it's finished. Let's check it out. So welcome to Butterfly Kisses and Ladybug Hugs collaboration. What a sweet collaboration and so springy. So our host Rustic and Lace DIY started this collab with co-host Six Kids and a Glue Gun and co-host Crafty Hints. This is such a fun collab. I decided since I bought those cute stamps with butterflies on them that I would do the butterfly kisses. So hope you enjoy it. Down in the description will be the link to all the girls' channels and to the playlist as well. Make sure you go check out all the other creators that have joined this collaboration. Project number three. This kind of plain, all banged up rolling pin. So I got this at a flea market recently for a dollar and I knew it was banged up but I said you know that just gives it character and we're going to just work with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint my handles black and then pull it back and distress those when once they are dry. I'm taking my antique wax water down in this cup and I'm going to antique wax or stain the middle part of the rolling pin. I'm going to try and get in all those little divots that are all over that rolling pin. It looks like somebody just used it as a hammer or something. I don't even know but um, uh, again I'm just going to work with it and I like distressed and that's just going to add to it. I really like as I'm wiping this off, you can see some of the different staining in the wood. I couldn't see that before until I put that on the antique wax on there. And so that's pretty cool that it brings out different parts of the wood. So once I get all that stained, I'm taking my brush with just a dry brush of black and going over it again to make it look a little more aged and antiqued. So again, here's another stamp. I went stamp crazy, guys. Uh, these are birds sitting on a limb, and they're so cute. So the first one that I'm going to use out of this pack is this bottom one. I think that one's really cute, and it will fit really nicely on my rolling pin. So I'm adding a bunch of paint onto my stamp. Now, wood is different than cloth, and I should have remembered that. I've done this before, but for some reason, I thought I needed a lot of ink on there. So it wasn't too, too bad, but I really could have gone with a little bit less ink to make it look a little more distressed 
and aged, but I think it really came out good and crisp. So now to go along with the collaboration of the butterflies, I am going to take some butterflies from this other stamp that I used and put those on there kind of flying around the birds. So I thought that would be kind of pretty. Now this first one, again, I put it on way too thick and I pushed down too hard and it just looked like a big blob. So I took my rag that had a little bit of water on it and just rubbed it back and then it just looked like a distressed spot on the rolling pin. So it doesn't look that bad. So I decided to try it again and take a little bit of the ink or the paint off and try it again. But again, I pushed down a little bit too hard. It came out a little bit better. You can kind of tell it's a butterfly. I probably should have just totally taken it off and tried it again with a little bit less paint. But I could tell what it was. So now I've done the other one and I've learned a little bit and done a little bit less paint and not pushed so hard. And that one came out a lot better. So here I'm just distressing the handles and bringing back some of that wood underneath and pulling that off and then I'm going to turn around and seal it once it's dried up a little bit I'm going to seal it with my antique wax I'm going to just put it on there and then pull it right back off and that should seal it pretty good and while I had the antique wax out I went over my stamp once it was dry and just kind of went all the way around just to give it a quick seal and then wiped it down a little bit and then to cover up some of these indentations on the rolling pin I took again some of my jute twine and just kind of randomly wrapped it around to kind of cover it up but not totally it's really only on one end that it's damaged which is the one that I'm working on there but I'm going to make it look uniformed and do the other side as well. And I think it does a good job of camouflaging what happened to the rolling pin, but also kind of, it it's just kind of shows it off and says, you know what, it's okay. We have a little bit of character. So that's just doing that side. And then once that's done, you can see the end result. So what do you think friends? Do you like my projects today? I hope you do. And if you'd like to check out some more of the collaboration, there'll be a link to the playlist right down in the description. And check out our host and co-host as well, please. There's also a link to my Etsy shop down in the description as well. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And please like and share and leave me a comment whether you like all three of these or which one you do like. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.